In this episode, I'd like to show you my full behind the scenes and walk through my thought process of how I do my photos, how I create professional looking photos with amateur models. With my lovely red-headed model, we were planning to create some artistic shots. We wanted our photos to have lingerie and fashion touch to it. And then she just found her coat and I said, that's amazing, we can coat you up. And I've decided to put her right in the middle of the couch, show her chest and cross her legs in a very elegant way. I wanted to show little touch of underwear, but mostly her attitude, uh, her lingerie and her strong attitude. That's why I wanted to position her like this, because this is, as you can see, and it comes with a um, serious face expression, of course. Start off, I have noticed that her legs were not high enough, so I found I came up with a solution. So I found a fix to it. I put some pile of books underneath her feet, right there, and so I made her knees go up because I wanted to cover, I wanted to block, as you can see in the picture, I wanted to block her underwear using her knees. I didn't want to show her underwear. I wanted to give her a look like. Does she have an underwear? Doesn't she? That's why in this photo I kind of hit her underwear to create more mystery. So I always tell her do not move, this is the base of our pose. That's why you should keep your arms extend like that. Do not pose, uh, do not change your position. I'll come back and forth and I'll tell you what to do. I'll fix her coat because if she tries to fix her coat herself, first of all, she doesn't know what I see. Um, I'm tethering my shots to computer, but still I am seeing beforehand what I'm shooting. That's why I tell her, do not move, focus on your pose, relax. I'll adjust everything, I'll do small retouches. So here you can see that with my hand, I'm telling her slight adjustments. You see how slowly, how tiny micro movements she does? Because I tell her, when I tell you to move around, do things, do not do, not do too much, just do little switch. When I tell you to go to your left, go to your right, scooch left, scooch right, do micro movements. That is very important. So as I take the photos, I show her, she sees, you can see the reflection on her glasses. She is quite happy. This is like maybe the number one thing you should pay attention to. It is, it is extremely important to show your work to your model so that she knows the progress. She trusts you more. Here I'm telling her, let's make you more confident, your pose, and I give her always positive feedback, you're amazing, and I show her the photo, you already look amazing, but let's make it better, let's make it better. So I tell her, do not sit, because normally I say, normally when you sit like this, your stomach goes inwards, your body curves, but don't do it, try to arch your back, push your chest forward to give more intimidating and maybe stronger and more, more confident look. So we are still doing the same shot. You can see we are still building on it, but she's not tired. She's not frustrated. She is happy. She's like, yeah, we can do better. 
yes we can do better so we always come up with how can we adjust the how can we adjust the code how can we make it so in the middle everything is equal your hair your hands are you sitting in the middle of the couch when we fine-tune all these small details the last photo comes perfect and then she's quite happy legs are amazing looking good close to the lens close to the camera but i wanted her to lift up her foot a little bit to give a little bit of curve and kind of elegance so the photo before was already good but you wanted to perfect it you want to you wanted to go for perfection to make it better that's why i said let's do it again but this time same pose i know it's hard it's gonna you're gonna do the same look same pose but you're gonna lift your ankle up and then she did check out the photo you see perfection eyes closed but we said okay let's do it again eyes closed let's do it again shoot and then boom we got the shot eyes open beautiful attitude your, if your model has her eyes closed, it's it's not a bad thing. Don't say anything bad to her. It means that she's relaxed because you don't want your model to open her eyes all the time. Then her eyes get, could get dry. Um, yeah, that's always positive feedback. So I said, okay, let's see. We got the shot. We got the shot. I always say, okay, like we got the shot, and she sees the shot is done. I say let's do something different let's go let me go above let's do from there maybe let's use another angle cross the other leg just like that just like you see in the picture here I wanted her I wanted to go lower from my angle from my perspective and I wanted her knees to go up so she didn't see she didn't have enough high heels so we cheated again I said let's 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 see we're gonna cheat now nobody's gonna know so you see the things I put I just find around a pillow a pile of books to make her knees go up higher and hopefully you're gonna like the photo because we liked it a lot those are the adjustments that you have to do you cannot ask your model because she's gonna change the position change the pose and you're gonna have to start all from the beginning but with this way if she doesn't move if i do the work or if you're lucky if you find an assistant to do the job that would be perfect because your model has to remember her pose and she shouldn't move around so much she should focus on what she's doing and you should do the work and adjust and fine-tune little things You see, I say this is a real, this is a confident shot. Let's let's add something up. Let's let's um, roll your sleeves because you look like badass. You look strong, and since your knees are up and legs are open, but since her underwear is dark and black, from where I shoot and where I place the light, we are not gonna see the underwear so much. It's not gonna be about her genitalia. It's gonna be more about her pose and her look and then her face. I'm always going back and forth to fix something if her nipples are showing too much because we, that's what we don't want to do if um, I adjust her uh, underwear her legs her hat and everything so you have to do it you take the shot we look together we say we can do better we can adjust better and we, we, we always fix the details until we get the perfect shot Now I tell her, let's do the lean forward one. Lean forward, hands relaxed, and yep, there we go. Totally different shot, totally different attitude. You can see here from her reaction, she's like, oh, that's interesting. And now she gives me, uh, instead of serious shot, she gives me a smiley shot. 
although she doesn't like herself smiling but you see she says i don't like it but i love her smiling that's why you make someone happy she sees the photo she smiles at herself because she's happy and then you take another shot and you catch her smiling So she was trying, she was pretending that she's fixing her code and I got the shot. That's a nice shot I like. Let's do something with your stockings. Let's, do, yeah, let's show your beautiful long legs and your thighs and your stockings. I said that best way to do, now you have your coat on, let's try to show your butt. Um, that will be interesting, but I wanted to catch the coat in motion. So that's why I said you have to just pull it up fast, pull it up fast and I'll catch it in the air. We're gonna get some interesting shots showing your legs and butt because I think she has a cute butt and she was looking very interesting. Instead of sexy, instead of looking erotic, she has beautifully elegant and nice butt. That's why I wanted to show because wearing stockings really fit her. Then we notice, okay, it's a little bit too um, naked, too sexy, let's put the underwear back um, because it was just for fun, it was just for a test. Um, and now we are back with underwear shots and I said, no, I want you to stand up, I want you to pose like you're waiting in a train station or somewhere at night with an artistic um, fashion model-esque pose. Now she immediately got it. She's immediately giving me this fashion model pose, very, very strong. This pose specifically reminds me of my, my one of my favorite photographers, Helmut Newton. And her models were like this back in 70s and 80s. Um, now again, it's not about, oh, you pose like this, you sexy girl, I shot a sexy girl. That wasn't the case, that's why we're working on the same shot until we get the correct mode, correct face expression, correct hand position, correct body position and correct legs. Because I want to show good size of everything. Her expression, her hand, her hips, her underwear and everything. Here she told me that we should do the same back shot with, with, with an underwear as well because she loves her underwears and everybody loves her underwears. It just, she, it suits her. I like her style. She certainly has a style. And we are doing the same shot now with underwear. This is also very important that as you take the photos, you go and check together and you really explain her why are we doing the next shot. 
because it's not about seeing her with the underwear and her back is turned. You don't always want her to turn her back and never look back to you. You should every time you shot, you have to communicate with her eye to eye, make an eye contact, explain her why are you doing the next shot, how can you do it better? Because then she trusts you a lot. She sees the change, she sees that you can do better, and when she sees the pro when she sees the photos, your model trusts you and you win her heart. Here I'm showing how from two different angles your butt can look entirely different and she sees like oh yeah wow I see I didn't know that because even small adjustments too below could be very bad for a good angle of a butt and hips but if I go to correct angle her butt looks much better. Is the same butt, same person, perspective changes everything. Also in these shots you can see here I know it's a sexy pose, sexy shot, but I said you have to lift your leg up. We have to. You see the um, her thigh gap? That's the place that she should squeeze. I'm telling her you should squeeze your leg. Lift your leg up. Nobody's gonna see it. We are faking it now. Only you and I are gonna know. We are. She's secretly lifting her leg up, just like that, as you can see, and she's squeezing her inner thighs because of the light position. It's gonna look so much muscle and so much detail and it looks sexy and she's so happy to see her legs like that. She said, I didn't know I look like that. That's, that's, that's your job. It's, it, that's your job as a photographer to show what your models can do. You can bring up an amateur model of someone never been modeling can look like top models. You never touch with your inner hand, always outer, just showing her. And before I touch her, I always say, can I touch? Can I show you something? Can I fix? And she says, yes. Then I gently touch where she should squeeze to get this shot. Because it's very important. And when she sees the result that it works, she's gonna know that you're professional and you know what you're doing.
you can see all the uh, behind the scenes on un uncensored version of this video on my Patreon page. Um, you can find all the links down below. Ask any question in the comment section what you want to tell me. I'll respond every each one of them. Yeah, yeah, so guys, this is the f part one. There will be a part two soon. She's giving much more sexy poses, but in an elegant way. How can we make sexy photo not cheap, not erotic, but very pleasing and eye candy? Please subscribe to my channel if you like my work, if you like what I say, what I show. Um, like this video, subscribe and don't miss the next video that I'm going to be showing. Um, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for giving me your time. Your support is very important for me. And thank you all my Patreons to support me every month. Um, yep. Thank you guys.